Hello, my guest today is Mr. Seahorse. The first question I have for you is, whom do you relate to the most? Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, I think I can relate to Zach Morris from Say About the Bell. Um, he had a down-ass bitch by his side doing schemes and pranks. Um, so it for sure will be Zach Morris. I got my cell phone taken away too by the principal. Um, uh, holler. <laughs> Clever answer. What is one of your most favorite childhood memories, Seahorse? Shoot, one time uh, my pop said, hey, can you make me some coffee? I said, I said sure will, daddy-o. Um, but your boy forgot to put a filter in it, man. He had grounds in his teeth for a week. Feel me? I do, I do. If you could go on a dream vacation anywhere, where would you choose? Oh, it would be a beach resort in Virginia. Um, only plays hip-hop music. Serves Corona all day long. Uh, the rooms come with gummy bears. Pool stays right at 82 degrees. Room service? <laughs> all day long. Now, tell me about an accomplishment you're the most proud of. <laughs> Man, I got first place in ping pong in Aspen for the uh, 12 to 14 age range. It was a uh, beast mode. Good for you. What was the worst job you ever had, Seahorse? Uh, my favorite job had to be when I worked at a pizza parlor with some of my boys. Uh, we used to have pepperoni fights and stuff. Uh, put my sausage on your pizza. Um, the only bad part was I always smelled like marinara. That's what's up. Uh, okay, where was the first time you performed? Well, actually, I did a show at the county fair. Uh, it got hyped real fast. I met this thick booty girl. We rode the Ferris wheel twice. Um, I won her a goldfish named that thing Lightning. Uh, that's tight, y'all. Sure is. What would your occupation be if you didn't do this? Whatever it is you do. <laughs> I would have to say I'd probably be a secretary at a veterinarian's office. Um, probably meet some really cool people, some some awesome chill animals, and probably even some animals I never met in person before either. Uh, word is bond. It's what? If you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, um, Simon Birch has everything from action to sports to comedy, to drama, to musical. So I'd have to say that it's really inspiring and Jim Carrey narrates it. I saw the sign. And it opened up my eyes. What is your favorite season, Seahorse? Hmm. Uh, I would have to say garlic. <laughs> I'm playing. I love summer. Girls in bikinis, water skiing, bass fishing, water balloon fights, um, frisbee contests. Barbecue and Coronas, riding bikes. I could keep going on, honestly. Summer, summer time. And the last question I have for you is, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Oh, for sure. I'm going to copy one of them houses with a balcony on the second floor uh, so I can toss bees down to some of the fly honeys. You know, what's popping? Bravo. It's been a really great time talking to you, Seahorse. I hope things continue to go well with you, and I look forward to maybe speaking with you again in the future. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me. It was, it's been a good time. Um, Gil, you've been a blast, as usual. I just, love, I just love talking to you sometimes. Call me more often. Don't be sourpuss. It's your boy, Seahorse. Nee. And this has been Gil Fights with another 10 questions. Look for me again. <laughs> Turn it off.